this video is regarding the disassembly and reassembly of Acumen's drilling quick release valve seat puller head. Um, first thing you're going to do is take it off the shaft. So what you do at that point, if you wanted to pull this off of your all thread, is unthread this bottom nose from the shaft. Head should slide off. At that point in time, you're going to want to take this loose puller head and stick it back underneath the jaws. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a smaller one, as well as a pick of some sort. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is take this snap ring off. So what the snap ring is doing is holding this outer collar onto uh, the puller head itself, uh, hiding the pivot point of the jaws. So pick up on this snap ring. That comes off. At that point in time, you should be able to pick up on the collar. It should slide off. If it doesn't slide off right away, you can turn it upside down and take a punch and a hammer and hit the outer portion of this collar to drive it down. So, outer collar comes off. At that point in time, all your jaws are exposed. You can take this out, and each of these jaws just has to be lifted up and off this groove right here. There's 12 jaws total, uh, just need to figure out what size uh, head you've got. Um, some of them will be stamped 6, the 7 series will be, um, they'll have a 7. So for reassembly of Acumen's drilling quick release valve seat puller head, um, you need to check to make sure your O-rings are in good shape. There's two O-rings. It's one here that actually creates tension on the OD side of these jaws. Uh, there's also another one right here that creates some tension between the outer collar and the inner housing. All that's doing is keeping this from being sloppy. So if you needed to take this O-ring out, obviously all you'd have to do is take you a pick that comes out. So for reassembly, uh, you put a new O-ring on here, take the inner housing in one hand, grab around the outermost section of the inner housing. The way I do it, and there's more than one way to do this, but is just stagger these jaws, hold them with one hand with your fingers like this. You have to put some tension here at this pivot point. Then take your bigger O-ring, go around the jaws, slide all the way down to the groove. There's a groove on the OD of the jaws. Start with three of them. And at that point in time, so you can take your hand off, stick it on the bottom nose, and it's just a matter of lacing the rest of these jaws onto the head. So what you're doing is taking a jaw going underneath this o-ring, pulling back, and sliding in the groove here. Be 12 jaws total. this point in time, make sure your OD O-ring is in the groove all the way around. All your jaws are sitting in their home. The outer collar can be slid back on. Push down all the way to expose this snap ring groove. At that point you can take your snap ring Slide it back on and slide your head back on the shaft. Then this follows behind. Thread it all the way flush, hand tight.